Hey guys, I want to take a video showing what the current status is of my RC car and uh, what I'm planning to do with it uh, currently. You might be able to tell right now it's a clear shell. I bought a new one that I still have uh, to paint a whole lot on that. As you can see on the top of it is what I'm working on currently. And that's a little uh, wireless camera mounted on a pan and tilt servo assembly that I threw together earlier. So I'll show you how that works in a second here. So what currently I'm planning on doing is I have a new brushless motor coming in, a new ESC, instead of using the one I made. And I'm going to get this uh, first person view uh, wireless camera system going. So this is how what it looks like on the car. And I have two different cameras. This camera that I have on here currently came as a kit for around uh, $30. It doesn't have great range and it keeps losing the signal, but considering how small, light, and easy it is to use, is what I'll be using for now until I get the parts for my other system. So just a quick overview as you can see I stuck it to the top and I'll show you that uh, functionality of it. And I got these little micro servers on here which will have enough force for this type of application. So let me show you the controller real quick. It looks a little bit funky considering I have it all kind of slapped together. I have my PlayStation 3 controller and I have this uh, three and a half inch LCD screen which takes analog video and then down here is the receiver for the wireless camera. The other transmitter and receiver are going to be the same size for my other camera system so it's pretty much going to be just like this, maybe a little bit cleaner. Give me a second here, I can show you what that looks like. So let me plug in the other camera real quick. Eventually it's all going to be powered off the battery but for right now I'm using the AC plug because it's easy. And right now what I have going on is I just have an Uno with a USB host shield and a Bluetooth module to control the two servos. I'm not using the car's electronics to mess with the setup. So that's live going on here is I have the Uno controlling the two servos with the PlayStation 3 controller. Let's check video feed. The one thing that sucks about this screen is that when it's a weak signal, it goes black and it takes a little while to actually tune the signal back in. You might have seen it flash there for a second. Oh, there it is. So that's pretty much what it's gonna look like, and it's the right stick which controls the camera position. So as you can see. I can move it wherever I want. This is just for testing. Its position is actually going to be right around here by default so you can see a little bit of a hood. So it's just like you're driving a first person view car. It's very responsive. It has a very fast update rate. There's a very slight little delay but I don't really think that's going to be a big issue. The camera is very low resolution and it can't record. So you just lost signal there for a second. You can see this artifact thing. So every once in a while you have to retune it to keep the signal. But as I was saying, the camera that's on there currently, it can't record and it's very low resolution. It's 4 or 320p, I think. It's whatever standard NTSC is. The other camera that I have is this one. As you can see, I already have the servo attachment on there so I could swap them anytime I want and this camera is actually a 1080p HD camera and it'll do 1080p at uh, 30 FPS or it'll do 720p at 60 FPS and as you can see the cameras are here and the great thing about this one is it can simultaneously record on the SD card and it's got this dongle here which has video out so but I can't use this currently because I don't have the transmitter and receiver on this other camera, that's the receiver, and the transmitter is actually built into that tiny little box. And I could butcher it to make this one work, but I'll just wait until I actually get the, my other transmitter and receivers in, and then I'll be able to use this higher definition camera, which can also record at the same time. And I can show you what video that looks like in a second. Let me switch over these uh, plugs.
Okay, gotta turn it up. There we go. It's actually got a built-in uh, menu. I can turn it off. Let's see. There it goes. So as you can see, this is going from this camera. This is a wired connection, so until I get my uh, wireless receiver and transmitter in, this is just for demonstration purposes, but as you can, might be able to see. There's a little bit of, a little bit of delay in this mode, but when you start recording, I think is this button. That delay that was in there, it goes away. And I think right now it's recording in 1080, but uh, like I said, it'll do 1080 30fps or 720 uh, 60fps. Now on the screen, it's still low resolution, but the video it's recording will be uh, high definition, and it also records sound, which I really don't care too much for. But this is my other camera, and pretty much all I have to do is take out one screw back here, and I could attach this camera in its place. So that's my uh, first person driving system. I just have a piece of plastic I made down there. So that's what is currently going on. I'll update you guys when I get the motors in and uh, when I actually finish the system, which should be really fun. All right, see you then.